Hello, I'm L. Ron Hubbard. And if you've been following my channel, you'd realize I've been lazy for the last few weeks. Not really lazy, just in and out of the hospital. So, this is the 26 week update. Um, I'm actually 30 weeks pregnant now. So, yeah. Oh, and thank you to my best friend, Mom, who made me this amazing blanket that I love. It's so very comfy. And yes, I am on a fold out bed in the living room because my 17 year old, well, 16 year old cat is not feeling well. So I'm going to sleep with him and monitor him and such. Um, as far as I can remember, for 26 weeks, the biggest thing was just feeling the stretching still. And uh, she was getting stronger. And stronger and stronger, and you know, just gaining weight and stuff, and yeah. So I think I was kind of sick. Uh, yeah. I just gotta like smush those weeks into this one because I can't remember. Oh, and pregnancy brain is still all over the place. With my stuff. I'm gonna get closer. The closer to see you with my dear. Uh, so 26 weeks wasn't, you know, overly different. I started really getting a little bit bigger quicker because it was closer to the third trimester then. And then 27 weeks, you know, is still weight gain and heartburn really started kicking in 27 weeks too. 28 weeks is when I started um, losing, oh, I should probably explain why I've been in and out of the hospital again. I have been losing my vision. Um, it can happen like I'll see floaters kind of, not poop by the way, but, like, those little random fuzzy floater things will come into the field of vision, and then, like, I'll lose, I lost this eye once, and this eye about five times. Just, like, completely lose that half of my vision. And, um, so that started around 28 weeks, so I went back to the hospital last, last week or something for that. After it happened, like, four times. I got scared because it didn't hurt, <laughs> but apparently my uh, I used to get migraines really bad, and that came back just without the pain. Since I'm pregnant, and since I'm definitely in the third trimester now, <laughs> uh, I can't lay on my back because the her she's she's about she's almost four pounds now, about which is good. And, you know, her little lungs are developed enough now that if she was born, she could live fairly easily. I mean, she still need help, a lot of help, but she's way more viable. But she weighs enough now to cut off the blood circulation in my vena cava, which is a big artery and is a blood vessel down in your abdomen. And uh, it could cause your blood pressure to drop, which can trigger the, they're called atypical migraines. They're just, you know, symptoms without, oh my gosh, my head's going to implode. And uh, I have to kind of snack constantly, too, because it can be brought on by low blood sugar, even though I am not diabetic. And I am not gestational diabetic, either. So that was 28 weeks. was starting to freak me out a little bit. And then that was, you know, the beginning of my third and final trimester and then 29 weeks oh my gosh round ligament pain was the worst ever it like it's it's the ligaments that are down underneath your belly right here that hold your uterus to your abdominal walls on the side and the bigger she gets the more those stretch, and it hurts because it's my first baby, 
and those are not used to that. Um, I'm sure it hurts for every pregnant woman, but it hurts a lot for me too because my spine isn't normal. I've had two spinal surgeries and basically my spine is stuck straight like that or as straight as it, they, they could get it. At this point, most pregnant women's backs can kind of curve a little bit outward to accommodate the growing uterus and baby and the organs and smush, and mine can't. So that's given me a little bit of pain, and I officially can't take baths now because I can't get in and out of the tub. <laughs> Yay. Thanks, Dad. He, he just, he pokes his belly out and he, like, waddles on by when he goes down the hall now. He also tells me to waddle faster when we're in public now. I love you, Dad! <laughs> I really do love my dad. He's amazing. He's amazing. Yeah, so, you know, help us a little informative. And now I am... Ha no, not quite halfway through being 30 weeks pregnant which is seven and a half months and I will do an actual 30 week pregnancy vlog later on of this week I'm trying to get my I finally got the clips of my trying to sleep while pregnant video off of my phone but I don't know how it happened but they flipped upside down so I'm gonna have to do a new trying to sleep while pregnant video but it should be way more funny now because I'm freaking huge. I'm like a land whale times five. Uh, I'm just really happy because she's going to be here in like nine weeks and I'm just ready. I'm so ready to get her out of me. I just like, I know it's just going to get worse, but I have hit the point where most women are like, just get it out. I'm so tired of being pregnant again. But I'm uh, trying to keep a very positive outlook on things and just enjoy life and enjoy my baby. I love her. Oh, and she wiggles my whole tummy now instead of just like a toop, 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 toop. It's like... And it's, it's hilarious. I'll try to get video of that later and I'll try to upload the fetal heartbeats that I've been missing. Um, and my boyfriend is actually, I'm very proud of him. He got a promotion at work. He's being very, very sweet to me. And Ashlyn, he's so excited to be her dad. I think maybe he was scared or, or something, but he's really calmed down. He got, oh, my birthday was over the last few weeks, and he got me some presents, and we've, we've been getting along pretty great not fighting it's that's pretty awesome I'm gonna say like it's pretty darn tootin awesome I'm gonna try to upload some more stuff later you know just cuz I can and I miss you guys I really do and I'm gonna start trying to actually upload things like I'm supposed to my computer was broken, too. I know it's not really an excuse, but... Now it's fixed, and hi, and bye! See you later! Stay classy, YouTube Diego.